Hi guys and welcome to my 15th tutorial on C++ 2010 Express Edition and in this tutorial I'm gonna talk about data structures. A data structure is a primitive uh, type of class let's say. Class is an expanded concept of data structure that's why we can use functions and so on we can use constructors we can have um, inheritance and stuff like this in the classes in the data structure we can only have variables inside the data structure so we cannot have uh, functions like we do in um, class and but we also create objects of a data structure so it's pretty much similar when when it comes to well basic use um, but the functionality is expanded with the classes that's why it's an expanded concept of data structure and to create your data structure you will go to pretty much the same global scope uh, which is basically outside your main or somewhere here somewhere um, below here for example where you create your other functions or classes so to create a um, data st structure you write struct and then the name of the structure for example color and you open and close curly brackets you don't have to add any bracket like this here you don't add it uh, and that's pretty much your data structure you also end it uh, with the semicolon at the end and that's your data structure now inside you can only add variables primitive type of variables like a string like um, integer float double stuff like this so let us add the integer let's say number don't add any values because those will be assigned through objects and uh, maybe a string or uh, let's say just numbers another integer let's say number two just to show you how this works and now to create an object you have two choices I, you can either create an object straight ahead when you create your uh, structure which is just between those two between the closing bracket and uh, semicolon you can add a name of the object or if you want names so basically you separate them with the um, comma like so for example so those are your objects now or you can create them in your main or different function whichever you want and simply saying color and the object's name for example red so this will be your object as well so you can create them like this and um, after you create your uh, structure you add your objects or you can create them later on simply by saying the structure name and the objects and uh, name so both ways are valid now if you want to use this object this object will have only those um, members which are available in the structure all of those um, objects you create will have only whatever is in the structure so if I have only two integers only those two integers will be available for my object so if I write dark dot and I will have only those two integers which are available for uh, for me to I don't know um, change the value of or add uh, calculate do the calculations and so on. So pretty much I can do assign statements. I can compare the values and um, for example I can say twenty dot uh, number two let's say which is equal thirty let's say and I can add those numbers. I can say dark dot number plus dark dot number two and and so on so pretty much you can do anything with those variables let's have integer here for example total and I will say total is equal to this one plus this one and I will see out total So pretty much something like this and simple calculation well, that is built and um, 50 the output is 50 and uh, so pretty much you can do calculations with it as well as store different type of data on one object which is uh, for example when you have a small database of the user let's say user will input uh, his or her data like what's your name uh, what's your ID of the student, what's your year of study for example and stuff like this this can all be stored in 
inside the structure and then when you need it you can simply ask um, use the object to print them out or check whenever the user is on second year or is his name starting with a letter and a specific letter and so on so you can do pretty much anything with it it's just a simple structure which will hold this data for you now I can also ask um, a user to enter a data and um, for example I can use a C in statement to enter the mark um, for mark object for the number and number two but I can also create a a um, pointers of those objects so when you create a pointer you can now assign this dark which is I don't need to do it right now uh, let me just um, delete this I can say now mark is equal to and the address of dark and now I can add a for example what I can do with it I can ask a user for the input uh, but using different uh, type of method which I haven't shown you probably before and the method is called get line and um, you will simply it works only for the string you will also have to include the string to use it and it will ask user to input the string and it will store into one of the variables I will let me just change it to string for me to make it better easier and um, string and so I can ask with get line a user to see in which is basically an input statement and say a mark and using this arrow I can ask for one of those variables to input something to this variable and I close this and move this one and the user will so input something to this variable which is a in the object mark and uh, I can for example print it out now I can um, change it to integer for example I can do many stuff with it uh, I'm not gonna show you typecasting in this tutorial I'm gonna show you this in the future tutorial how to do typecasting that is changing for example from string to the numeric variable so that you have a number as a string but you want to use it for calculations you cannot use string for calculations therefore you will use a typecasting method to um, change it to integer or for example double or something like this uh, to make it um, available for calculations and different um, sorts of things so you'll be able to do that in the future I will show you how to do this um, but for now you can actually um, do something like this play with the structure so I'm not gonna show you how to uh, typecast yet and uh, so for example let's have a message just a simple message see out and uh, say um, enter I don't know name let's just say name I will not change the uh, variable names and uh, because this doesn't matter for now I uh, will just copy this and name and just enter your age for example enter age and get line again I can use get line get line C mark and number two both are strings so I can do this and I, I can just see out some and uh, both of those which I got the um, values in and simply say um, mark and number and plus um, actually you don't use pluses I have to some kind of space and and let's say and mark and number two so something like this and it will ask me for two inputs simply and it will print it out so let me just show you this so enter the name say something like this enter an age 23 let's say and you have an output so this will be stored in this variable basically in this object you can access this uh, you can use this object to access those variables whenever you want you can um, use this for if statements or loops so it's not limited to just calculations or getting the number or whatever it is and uh, simply displaying it so it has more functions in, into it than just that that's pretty much it about the data structures you can also create on the contrary you can also create friends 
you can have friends of those uh, structures pretty much similarly like you do with the classes I haven't tell you this yet with the classes how to make friends how to make a uh, class uh, friend classes and stuff like this but I will in the future but you can also do the structures uh, friend structures and this is a bit different I don't know if I actually remember it but you have a structure which is of different name and we can add <coughs> a new structure and then add uh, existing structure to this one um, or create an object inside this and uh, simply use it as a friend um, and now we'll have access to those <coughs> to those variables inside this one so for example let's say uh, first something like this and I will have normal type of uh, structure as I have normally and then I will simply um, let's say I have integer let's say well, um, num like this num and then if you want to make a nested this is called nested or a friend like uh, function um, structure you simply write the name of the structure you want to be able to access like a color and then you simply create an object and uh, for example um, something like this this is an object then and now yeah, I, I, when I create a um, object of this uh, structure, let's say I'll create it here, red. Now, if I use red here, red, like this, red, dot, um, dot, and I will have this structure, dot, and I can, as you can see, use those two variables which are inside the color. So you can also nest them in some way and um, use um, different uh, st structures to access um, the main one, for example. You can have main structure and then you can call this one a favorite color of one person or, or something like this. Then this will have all the colors, for example, and this will have a person, a people, which, um, which choose simply the color or something like this. And so it depends on uh, what type of thing you have to do, actually. But that's how you can actually use this. And um, this is how you basically create your uh, structure. You can also create a objects which are of pointer type. And uh, you can nest them. This is called nest statement uh, as a, not a friend, really. Uh, <laughs> this is ex expanded concept in uh, the classes. Uh, but um, it's sort of friends like because I can uh, actually access this structure through this one through objects of this structure and um, pretty much as you can see you can create objects straight ahead you can create them here you can add uh, values together you can pretty much do anything you do with variables so um, everything else you pretty much know this is the end of this tutorial and uh, the future tutorial will consist of um, file uh, streaming and stuff like this so it will be more about as well uh, um, of um, more about classes as well and uh, you will learn how to do those friendships uh, inheritance um, and so on uh, so interfaces probably as well if there are um, any I think there are in C++ there are no in Java nevertheless um, this will be in the future and this tutorial ends here as always visit my webpage and youtube channel for more tutorials if you like my videos subscribe on the channel on my videos and i will see you in my next tutorial uh, bye